Um, like I said to Doug, I really appreciate the invitation to participate in this. I've never been invited to the center right organization. <laughs> and I said uh, earlier, um, every good hut deserves a fox. <laughs> so I'm happy to serve that role here today. I also happen to think that I do a lot of international work, and uh, one of the things that our country stands out in is we have really polarized politics here in Washington, as you know, Democrats and Republicans not talking to each other. Uh, but we also have a very, uh, they have this quaint notion in Europe and a different way in, in, in Asia where the social partners talk to each other. We don't even have that term. But I have it done with my uh, uh, distinguished uh, colleagues here on the panel. Peter just met them today. Uh, we interact business and labor uh, primarily by fighting each other in ad wars and uh, lobbying campaigns, etc. This is a terrible shame because uh, especially at a time like this when we are facing such urgent needs to work together uh, to get this economy going again. Uh, I also want to say, and uh, um, uh, Mr. Kling uh, made, I think, a point toward modesty here. When uh, Larry Summers came to describe to our executive council what they were doing with this Recovery Act, uh, he said something that I thought was very important uh, for us all. Uh, after, this was in the early 2009. Uh, he said, after he listed five or six things which he thought he would never see in his career, all of which he saw in 2008, he concluded, I think wisely, that anyone who's thinking about the economy today, the way they were five years ago, is almost certainly wrong. And while, uh, given my disagreements with Larry, I know that was true of him, I think that's true of all of us, that we need to rethink the assumptions that we have. I also think we need to hang our uh, metaphorical holsters on the door uh, and address the kinds of problems we have with a more, much more 